This hour, a body discovered in a local pond, and detectives say it appears to have been there for several days now. This has all been developing within the last couple of hours. This afternoon, divers went into that pond to remove the man's body. The investigation attracted a lot of attention from neighbors. Someone noticed the body along Plaza Parkway in Coco. They called 911. News 6's James Sparvero has more on the way detectives are working to get results and identify this guy. Both Coco Police and the Brevard County Sheriff's Office on scene this afternoon working a death investigation when police say a man's body is found in this pond. It's a body discovery where police think the man was dead for several days. Investigators saying the body is severely decomposed and needed to be delicately removed from the pond by divers. They say the man was found at quarter to one this afternoon when someone in this area was walking past the pond and called 911. The pond is in a neighborhood off of Plaza Parkway. The large response from authorities drew a crowd. I've never seen anything like this. It was very scary. It's still very scary. Grandmother Darlene Pridemore watched investigators closely from up against a fence in her family's backyard. My grandson and I were on the back porch and all of a sudden police cars came barreling down through here and I thought when they jumped in there that somebody died because there's alligators in there. And I thought maybe an alligator got them, you know. Signs around the pond warn of gators, but police at this time are not releasing a cause of death, nor have they identified the man. Police say detectives are looking into whether this man was previously reported missing. We're told the medical examiner's office here in Brevard County will conduct the autopsy. Police say they'll release more details when they're available. We'll let you know if foul play is suspected. In Coco, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. So we are staying on top of this developing story. We'll be sure to bring you any updates that we get on our website, clickorlando.com.